Today's model is nestled right between Lake Nona and the airport, a perfect location. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, fashion rules and if you've been looking for a property near the airport, maybe not Lake Nona but just kind of nestled in between Lake Nona and the airport, then this community is perfect for you. The model behind me is a three bedrooms, two bathroom, two car garage, about 1,713 square foot ranch style home. The first thing you're going to notice is this beautiful pavers. Now everything that in this house is actually included within the price, which I will tell you a little bit more, but I love how you have this nice walkway or a nice driveway with pavers with your two car garage right behind and as I walk over here I love that it has this beautiful stone elevation with this nice pillars over here but the best part is with the amount of packages that we get these days that you have a little walkway going into your house so let's go inside and check the rest of this beautiful model out hello hello and welcome to another beautiful model right here in Orlando. If you've been looking about a property or if you're looking for a property near the airport, just about 10 to 15 minutes and about 15 to 20 minutes to Lake Nona, this is a great spot. It's a really nice community. And this model is three bedrooms, two bathroom, two car garage, 1,713 square foot. And yes, there is a CDD and there is also a HOA. Your CDD for this specific lot, which is a 50 by 110 minimum. Now this is on a conservation. So this lot is a little bit bigger than 50 by 110. The price of this house is 593,990 including everything. So everything that you see in this house comes with it. And the HOA is about $106, which has a 24 seven gym, pool, a clubhouse, a lot of amenities. But the biggest thing is that it's really the location. So if you've been thinking about buying a brand new home in Orlando, you know, Orlando has gone up quite a bit in terms of price. And there's not a lot of brand new homes that are being built in terms of the area and, and what you may want because Orange County does not have a lot of land so it is a little bit more expensive. So just keep those things in mind and if you are looking to buy a brand new home anywhere in Central Florida and Tampa area, this is a great resource. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? Press the thumbs up button, show us some love. And if you are not sure about which area to move in or to live in, make sure to check out Orlando Living with D. Now, as I mentioned, everything is included in the price that I just gave you. So the first thing you're going to notice is that you have this beautiful eight foot door with the with the window. Your ceiling height is about nine four. This is what you get. You get this solid door with a nice window. The floor as you see over here. Now guys, I am trying to get every single floor plan that the builder has with all different builders that I cover because the thing is that you can look at the floor plan on the paper but when you really walk through the building itself or physically walk through it, it's a completely different experience. So I'm now trying to get to all the models, whether they are decorated or not decorated to give you a good idea. This is a really nice starter home in a really nice part of town right here in Orlando. So as I come over here, you have one bedroom right over here. It's a good size with this really nice big window bringing in a good amount of light. The only thing is that if you're going to use this as an office, it's a beautiful day. There's a lot of light coming. I would have preferred to get more lights. Now, if you haven't watched my video on the do's and don'ts of building a brand new home, especially if you're building it from scratch, make sure to check it out. I'm not a huge fan of these doors, but what I do love is that these are eight foot solid doors. So I really love that. The worst ones are the split ones, but this is pretty good and this is how you will get the house. Everything that you see is you get. Now there is no washer, dryer or refrigerator included. So please keep in mind. Now, if you are looking to buy now, the market has definitely shifted and changed and you're going to get a more bang for your buck on an inventory home. And there's two kinds of inventory. There's an inventory home like this one, which is this is the house. This is the upgrade. This is the tile. Take it or leave it. And then there is inventory home where the structural options have been chosen. 
you just have to pick the inside so you can go to a design center so just keep those things in mind right over here is your secondary bathroom what i love is that you have the simple white tile and hallelujah it goes all the way up which is included shower tub combination this is the color of your cabinet i like the undermount sink because it's a little bit more deeper than what i have seen but what i also love about the cots over here is that it kind of curves now i have two small kids and my younger son is just about i think uh, a little bit above but it was just there and having those corners you know the sharp ones is a little bit dangerous especially with kids because they just come around running and all that and i know this because that's what i have in my house all day long well when you come over here this is your second bedroom and they're pretty much very similar sizes and i always say this guys it's not about the square footage as much as it is about the flow of the house. The flow of the house is more important than anything else. And yes, this community does have a CDD. It's about $166 a month. Now, I know a lot of people kind of bulk at like, oh wow, it has a CDD, it may not be good. You know, at the end of the day, guys, CDD or no CDD, you're gonna still pay as a consumer. The difference is that if it does have a CDD, then your, uh, Base prices are going to be a little bit lower, but if it doesn't have a CDD and it's included, your base prices are going to be higher. So like keep those things in mind because as a consumer, one way or the other you have to pay and CDD is basically, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a tax that you have to pay for the infrastructure. And sometimes the builder will pay that up front so that it's included in its pricing of the community. Sometimes you have to pay, it's a 30 year bond that you have to actually pay to the government. So as I walk in, you have this little closet space right over here. So for like some extra space, you know, or, or maybe like two days that it gets cold, you can probably take these wire racks out and just uh, put one in the middle and then hang your coats and whatever that you want to do, but a good amount of space. And then as I go over here, this is your laundry space. So you can see it's a pretty good size and it has the roughings for a sink if that's what you want to do. And it's a good thing. And I mention this all the time. Now, guys, if you are looking to buy a house, make sure to check out the ultimate guide playlist because that's where I did, I'm doing a lot of videos to help you and kind of give you a lot of knowledge for the whole process in terms of what inspections you should do, uh, what things you should look into. Now, right behind over here is your two car garage. And one thing that I will tell you, I just recently closed on my house. And the first thing that I did is I epoxied the garage because it will last longer and it looks more nicer. But this is how you are going to get Good thing about this builder also is that they have their, their water heater elevated and they have this right there. This is needed by the code. This is not necessarily needed by the code, but they do that. The place where I built, they actually had the water heater on the floor. And I was talking about that. And sometimes you have a drip pan and, and mine didn't have. So I asked the builder and he said that it's usually required if it's inside, and there's a chance that the, the water heater may fail and it may flood the house. And if it's in the garage, the water is not going to go because most of the time the house is kind of built on a pad, as you can see, like an like a inch and a half, two inch right there. So the water is not going to flow upwards, you know, it's going to flow downwards. So that is something to keep in mind. Now, this is a concrete block and it also has an entrance to your attic. And then as I come over here, you also have another space for storage right over here. Now, this is something that you can actually use more for your coat closet, stuff like that. And then that is something that you actually can use that for your stuff, like extra stuff to store. And then as I go over here, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? The whole thing kind of opens up. This is not a gas community, but you have this beautiful 42 inch cabinet with the crown molding. You do get a whirlpool and a flat, uh, top over here and then you also have the upgrades in regards to your oven space and then a little bit space for your pantry now it's a really good size for a 17 13 square foot home it kind of flows really well and then as i come out you have your refrigerator space you have your bread or coffee station right over here but i just beautiful i mean like, i just love the color of this cabinet and this is a package so just keep in mind you may get the same model, but it may have a different package and everything is included. But look at the size of this island. Isn't that amazing? You can actually easily have three or four people right there 
So you don't really need a semi-private dining area, but if you do, this would be the spot for it. As you could see, it has that la uh, light fixture right there, but I love that it has a lot of light. You have a window, a window, and a really nice big window looking at your backyard, which is a covered lanai, which is also included. So you could be doing your thing. You can have your TV actually that way and you can just basically keep an eye on everything just from here. This is where your dining area is. It's a really, really nice floor plan to get started. Now, this is your back covered lanai, which is included in the price. And look at the size of this. One thing that I would also suggest to do is once you close on the house to maybe get this screened. Now your lot size is actually going all the way till here. So it may not not have a lot of room for a pool, but if you still want a pool, you can definitely do a small pool, maybe not big because the lot size on this is probably 50 by 115, 120. Now, if it was a two-story home, you could easily add a pool because you're gonna get more space into it. Well, put in the comment below of what you think. Now, in terms of incentive, if you close with this builder anytime in September and October, they will give up to 4% of the sales price towards closing cost and prepaid. Now you can use that money to reduce the price if you're paying cash. So you could do that, or you can use that money to buy down points to be able to get. Now, some builders are doing something different, which actually I like it because they're basically buying the points for you, but they're doing it for the whole 30 years instead of a 2-1 buy down or a 3-1 or a 3-2-1 buy down. And that is something that's going to be much more beneficial because right now the rates are anywhere between 7, 7.5%. And, and, and hopefully the feds are going to say that inflation is kind of getting tamed so they won't keep on increasing the rates but yes the market has definitely changed and guys if you are sitting on the fence i always say this is the question you need to ask yourself is if you can afford the payment because guess what when the rates go down you can always refinance because when the rates go down the values will go up because of the affordability factor a lot of people are just sitting on the fence and i'm not just saying that i personally did it myself because i am seeing as boots on the ground of what's happening. So let's have a look at the master bedroom and look at this. Wow, this is a really good size. I always tend to stand in the corner for you to be able to look. The only thing missing would be those extra lights in the master bedroom is something that I would have loved to have, especially when it's a master bedroom or if it's a loft area or if it's a flex room because you're gonna use that, it's going to be really nice. And of course your family living area or the great room as they call it would be fantastic too. But I love that you have this really nice big window, nobody behind you. And this community still has some inventory left uh, in terms of their 50s and 60s product. But when it comes to about 40 foot, you do have an option to be able to build from scratch and there's just few more left. So if you are looking, Make sure to give us a call, reach us out, so we'll be happy to help you. And this is your master bathroom, and wow, I love this. I love that it's a nice walk-in shower with this beautiful tile going all the way up. You have a transom over there. But what I also love over here is this beautiful tiles, as you see right there. And then right behind, across from it, is your water closet area, so pretty comfortable. You know, it's really nice and comfortable. And the most important thing for all the lovely ladies is that you have the double sinks right over here. You know, I would have been nice, it would have been a little bit longer, but that would have cut into your closet space, which we're gonna get in, but still a very comfortable size. And then this is your master closet. Not a huge fan of it because if my wife has this closet, I'm not getting anything. I'm not even getting this space because uh, we just moved and oh my God, the amount of stuff that she had was unbelievable. Like eight boxes of clothes that she probably would never get into, but uh, everything is an emotional value now. And I'm, when I have my stuff, it has a little hole, oh, it's garbage. Like I'm like, it's emotional value. Like what emotional value? There's no emotional value. Well, let me know what you think of this floor plan. And if you are looking to buy, give us a call. Please remember when you call me and my team, you're gonna to talk to somebody on my team. Her job is to collect all the information and connect you to the right agent. One thing that we pride ourselves is that when you give us a call, we're gonna get all the information that we need. So when you finally come down, or if you are local, when you're ready to look, we're not showing you properties like 50, 60, 70 homes that doesn't fit your criteria or your budget. We will sit down with you, we will do all the homework that is needed and then show you properties that fits your budget and fits your criteria. And if it doesn't, we're gonna let you know in advance because 
buying a home is a very emotional thing and I understand that and it's your house. So we want you to be aware of that. And the other thing is that as your house is being built, we always document that. We always go to the property once every four weeks to six weeks and we do videos, we do pictures and we send you those so you can kind of keep a video log, log of it to know exactly what the progress is going on with your home. Hopefully you get a lot of value from our video. If you do, please make sure to press that thumbs up button. And don't forget now that I'm TikToking and Instagramming, I'm doing my song and dance to make sure to please follow me over there. Until the next video, thank you for watching. Bye for now.